Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out level 14 Hogsmeade free play for Lego Harry Potter years one through four. Now on the right, you can see we got all the collectibles except for that one gold brick that we got for beating story mode. We're going to go for that true wizard of 50k and it is important to note that you do need a strong character and a dark arts or dark magic wizard. Now for our strong character we chose Hagrid, you could choose Fang, there's a few others as well. We also choose, per, chose Professor Snape as our dark art. So once you got those let's go ahead and choose year three Hogsmeade and we'll go ahead and roll out. Now right at the very 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 beginning you're going to go ahead and look right up above you and target the two spider webs that are floating above you. Those are the first two of ten total spider webs in this area that we need to take out. The third one is right after using Lumis Solemn to get by those first set of tentacles. And then the next one will actually be right up here after we put the first two platforms down and make our way across to the middle ledge here. Now you actually can see it, but you can't quite get it yet. At least we were not able to. So we're going to go ahead and move a platform over to the other side and jump up on the ledge here soon. I guess we're going to move the other one too. But uh, this is one of the harder ones to see. You just It's easy to go by. But that's number four. Number five is actually tucked down in the front right corner over here. Bam! Right below the bridge. And then we'll go ahead and use Wingardium Maleviosa to move that big old weight and pull the bridge down. And cross that bridge. Right after the bridge, you'll find two. One's kind of hiding behind the candles, so don't miss that one. And speaking of candles, go ahead and grab those. Whee! And uh, use your Leviosa to go ahead and levitate that up there and uh, scare those tentacles and free those pallets. It's weird that pallets are just floating around in the cave, but hey, we'll take it and uh, get your way. Oh, get all the way down to the end here. You have to take out what I believe is a Bogart. Is that right? I don't know. Bogart? Bogart? And uh, once you get him out with Reducto, I believe it is. We're going to go ahead and use Leviosa to pull down the old blinds here, and it pulls out the faces. So this one's a little bit easier now. Somebody actually pointed out to me, there's a nose, there's a mouth, and there are eyes. Uh, so the smelly parts are probably the flowers. The mouth is probably the eaty bits, the cake. And the eyes would probably be the painting or the picture there, so... That was nice of them to point that out to us. Thank you. I, I, if I had a name, I would give it my bad. But the last two spider webs are actually right at the top of the ledge after solving the cake and picture and flower puzzle. And so that wraps up the first house crest. And we got f three more coming up. And But you might have remembered there was this kind of black glowing orb over here. Use your dark magic on it to get the first character token. So it's important to grab that before going up, although... Um, I've been finding out that a lot of these areas you can actually backtrack. So if you go up the ladder, I'm pretty sure you can actually come back the way you came in and drop back down the ladder. I didn't try it on this level, but on the last couple levels it's been that way. Oh, there's nowhere to go. My bad. <laughs> All right, now that we're up in Hogsmeade, we'll go ahead and uh, use Reducto to blow up the silver lock and then use Leviosa to go ahead and levitate the little puppet in there and make him dance around until he kicks out the old character token. Kind of reminds me of putting a quarter in those machines back in the day and getting one of those chicken eggs and having it spit out, you know, and then you open it up and it was like a uh, sticker or a piece of bubble gum or something really cheap, only worth 25 cents. Well, really, it was worth about three cents, but uh, that's how it went. When you're ready to roll out, there are a bunch of studs in there, but uh, when you're ready to roll out, use the old Leviosa to lift that weight and tip the scales the other way. Dip out and go to the top of the screen, and you'll notice that there's a little bit of a cinematic moment where Draco throws a, a snowball and hits a wizard, and he drops a, a torch and runs inside, but we're not going to worry about that torch just yet. It's important to note that there are three owls on the street out here, and we're going to need to... Uh, Go ahead and take them out. Who? You said? I said the three owls on the street. So one's on the left, just outside the door. The second one's about halfway down the street on the right-hand side. They're pretty hard to miss, in all honesty. And uh, third one's going to be down at the bottom. Now, hey, one thing I haven't mentioned yet that uh, we'll make note of as we smack that third owl. We do have quick links for all of the collectibles down below in the video description. So if you're in a hurry to find the student in peril, or maybe you need the character tokens, or maybe you want that next house crest, whatever the case may be, there are links to all of the collectibles down below, as well as all of our social media stuff as well. 
as well too. Hey, how about I say as well again? Hey, uh, all right. So once you get all three of the owls, a bunch of bits drop. Go ahead and build them up with Wingardium Leviosa. Smash the snowman and uh, you get your reward, which happens to be the second house crest. Oh yeah. That was a little trick. You see that over there on the right or left hand side? I went ahead and stood on the stool and smacked it, and it raised me up. All right, remember that torch we got that wi from that wizard earlier? Go ahead and switch to a character with Wingardium Leviosa. And I found this uh, to be a little bit touchy, but uh, if you move it towards the top of the frozen bits and move it down, it should go just fine and melt all the ice, revealing these boards that we're going to build up into a big old fire pit here. And uh, we'll torch it up, burn that snowman, and it's actually going to give us access to get on out of here. But we're going to grab some studs first and get that true wizard so we don't have to worry about that anymore. And hey, before you duck out to the right-hand side there, make sure you use a digging character on the left. Hermione will work just fine with Crookshanks. Of course, Scatmers would probably do the trick for us as well. Maybe Fang. Who knows? Uh, we got a few people or characters who can dig up stuff. But once you get it all dug up, roll down and get your bowl on. That's right. Knock over the three pins, and you'll be rewarded with the third house crest. So we're getting close. We're getting close. So this is one of those moments where there's kind of a, you know, a minute or two in between collectibles. We did speed this up for this battle here. But if you're in a hurry, go ahead and click the link, uh, which I believe the next one is the student in peril. So uh, it could be the next house crest or no, it's character token or student in peril. I bet money on it. All right. So uh, if you're unfamiliar with this little battle here, basically Malfo Draco Malfoy is tossing a bunch of uh, stuff at you. He goes in series of three. Well, I guess it's four, technically. He throws three snowballs at you that you cannot grab and throw back. And then he throws kind of like this ice ball or a steel ball at you. And that actually is uh, capable of being grabbed by your Wingardium Leviosa and thrown back at him. Repeat this process three times, and he will get down to his final heart, and then he'll go into tank mode. And basically, it's the same thing. He's going to shoot a little snowball at us. We return it and plug the hole. Bam! Uh, and then he goes in and shoots, I don't know, apparently some large snowball at us. We return it, smack him, do this three times, and the battle will be over. There you go. All right, so here we are. Uh, we're kind of at the four-way intersection here. There's a few things that we need to make note of. First, we're going to take this dragon in a cage and put him on the old sled and let him slide down. When he does that, we notice two things down there. We notice a snowman, which we're going to pow. But da -da -da -da! We turn that frown upside down and freed that student. Uh, there's a couple of trees down here that'll give us some money, but more importantly, there's a red wizard. Now, we can't really do anything with that red wizard just yet, but we're going to go up to the top right here. We're also going to take out a few Christmas trees along the way and uh, s check it out. Up on the top right, there was a little chain there. Go ahead and bust that chain open with, I believe it's Reducto, and then go back to that red wizard give him the old smackaroo. He's going to disappear and go to the right side of the street, so go ahead and smack him again. And he'll disappear one more time, going all the way up. Now, that chain that you broke actually freed a little serpent here. So go up and use Leviosa to lift the lid. He'll go ahead and scare that wizard away and grab the third and final character token. And now, last but not least, we actually have to uh, get this snowball filled up. And we have to actually get it out of there so that we can go inside the building. But before going in the building, I guess that we got to... Build up the snowball. And more importantly, there is one more house crest that we have to get. So uh, as I fly around uh, terribly and miss a bunch of studs, I go ahead and put the last piece onto the snowball. You got to put all these pieces up there. You got to put the sign up above it, put the three broomsticks, and then it should roll out and blammo. Now, you might remember in the very beginning, I warned you or let you know that we needed a strong character. So here we go. Go ahead and switch to your strong character now. Get the old chain pole going. Giggity. And, oh, look at that. The top blows, and we get a green house crest, which completes our house crests for this level. And we'll follow the, the stud trail into the building and to the final total. So, one, two, three character tokens. Ah, ah, ah. And uh, we'll go ahead and grab all four of those house crests. Thank you very much. And uh, how many studs did we get? We got plenty. I know that much. That two-time stud multiplier certainly helps out. And uh, hopefully, may who knows, maybe you might have other ones as well. We're going to get all the rest of the multipliers afterwards. Don't really need a lot of studs. Not right now, anyways. Turn that front upside down. And uh, O to the S. Yeah. So here we go. House. Oh, oh, oh. We got all that stuff. Three bricks. Booyah, kashow. Which, guess what, ladies and gents? 
that's going to go ahead and wrap up Lego Harry Potter years 1 through 4, level 14, Hogsmeade Free Play. And as always, we hope you guys found this video helpful and maybe brought a smile to your face along the way. Who knows? I try to be goofy sometimes, and uh, sometimes I fail at that. But hey, if you got a suggestion for us, or maybe you uh, liked one of my little quirky little comments, uh, drop by Facebook, Twitter, or comment down below. And of course, we would love for you to give us the old thumbs up or thumbs down, and subscribe if you like what we got going on around, huh? And uh, HappyThumbsGaming.com is available with product and gaming reviews as well as trophy achievement guides. We also have Instagram, G+, and Twitch accounts if you're into those coins of things. So, all right. Well, uh, I don't have much more, so let's go ahead and put this baby to rest. As always, until next time.